Welcome back to the date of March 10th, 2022, week one of the Johnson Elder Esports in the Ohio uh, Central League. Today's match can be uh, John Thunder versus uh, Worthington Kilborn. We're going to go ahead and switch our screens over. Oh, it's going to be a good one. I bet. I have high hopes. High hopes for both teams. I mean, uh, last week, uh, Jonathan Otto totally overtook Morgan High School in the third scrimmage. Coming from a 13 to 2 and, and a 13 to 3 with one mess up in round 9 last week. It's, it'll be interesting. It uh, definitely should be interesting, considering that our top players, Stat, Nobu, and Schnuck, especially on the map of Ascent, I, you said Schnucks was really good at Ascent. Some, some really good plays between Schnucks and E-Monkey on this map, so I look forward to some of that um, chemistry. It'll be interesting. Choose I mean, your those, agent. Yeah. Schnucks playing Sova. I haven't seen much of that, so... Hopefully Different tactics. I mean, hey, whatever works for him. Not bad lineup. Uh, do we have audio? Yeah, we have audio. Uh, the audio through the. If you want, if you don't. So, why you listen to the weirdest music? Lots of toots, 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 toots. How do you dance to it? Oh. Alright. I'll be starting on offense for the ascent. Looking to push B side here. Specs are using the classic and the. Switch between the classic and the ghost at least three times. It really, uh. Everyone here seems to be using ghost. In a normal melee. Yep, everyone except for it, Lettuce. Lettuce is using the classic, apparently, yeah, going for her own strategy. Be the one off in a situation, I would definitely not want to be her unless she has a good plan up her sleeve. Cover going out. Revealing area. Got a lineup from the Schmitz. Yeah, they are. Reloading. Shutting them down. Emotion really doing something, man. Emotion really the whole fight. Spike down A. Oh, oh, Spike down A. Oh, Last oh, player standing. Oh, oh, Maybe taken out by the jet. First round win. Anyone have any splints? I may have jammed my fingers. Multiple fingers. Interesting to see how Alder is going to adapt to these working conditions. There. Spike down, mid. Last player standing. Ace! Oh my goodness. Ace, in the bed. Arena. Taking out Alder. Don't forget who you are, Omen. A man, not a monster. Doesn't seem like that bad of a strategy. I mean, surely he has to have something up his sleeves in order to be able to truly get, truly get a good win here. Enemy spotted mid. Went through a midpoint. Doesn't seem that bad of a strategy. I mean, currently four are 
Damn, I mean, the wire doesn't seem that bad. Okay. Reloading. Some utility in the spawn or mid. I'm trying to look for that. SMB. I mean, Stat surely Shadow does have the strats Stat for this one. Hey, it's not to play on Warriors. You guys can use it. Looking at way to A. 4v5. 4v5 doesn't sound that bad, and currently, um. I have the spike! Seems I dropped like, the spike. Uh, Stat is currently in control of the spike. <laughs> Stat has just dropped the spike. Looking for a pick in mid. Ow! Headshot on Jack. I have the spike! There. Down. They got rain of their biggest competition so far. They're dealing in. 30 seconds left. Reloading. Cover going out. Shadows traveling. I mean, surely after this time, we can surely label the kids' moves as stat strats. This. Blinding. The stat trap's coming clutch from both of these. Oh, stat is coming out. Oh. Last player standing. This is last. Oh, oh. man, seems yeah, there's a couple of hits on Killboard, but not enough to kill. Killboard is gonna get. Sizz has suffered a loss here, going from zero to three. Do you think we'd be able to pull this off? They it's demand a the fight. Good, but I am Who are we to disobey? In the second half of this round, Alder seems to be a pretty good second half team. I think what we're struggling at is the initial push, but once we get our stuff together, we surely do know what we're doing. I'm interested to see if they're going to split anytime here, or if they're going to keep five stacking A or B. I mean, it would seem we like a tactical advantage out. to. Uh, be in one point, but yet again, they could easily take you out within mere seconds. Seems to be saving their utility. Trying for a more. Oh! Oh! Standing ahead. Oh, Spectre and a uh, classic there. It doesn't. I mean, it feels like a pretty good lineup for it. Now the Odin does seem a little bit overpowered, but I mean it could always have this advantage or disadvantage. Captain oh, killed. Kill. Let's make some the plane drone. Gotta kill some way from mid. Next last week was famous for using his uh, drone a lot, getting us. At least Standing three ahead, kills. It's in three different rounds. Simple three. Thirty seconds left. Last player standing. I have to spike. Spike down, B. Beautiful attempt. Not enough to get the kill. Sure, we give uh, Killborn the uh, early game, but that doesn't mean we can't pull back through in a later game. My ultimate is Certainly ready. in the buy phase, it doesn't seem that much. I mean, pistol rounds is what we're really going to lack at. Hopefully these boys do train themselves to get better pistol rounds. There. There. Doesn't seem that bad. We're currently going in. Oh, there we go. We thought we were good hopes. May not be good hopes after all. I think what we need now is maybe a miracle. Flash. Be 
know if you're looking for that pick. Two wasted bodies. Interesting line. I'm trying to catch that enemy behind the corner. It's not clear if there was one there or not. I think it may have encountered what we call a phantom shot. You see everyone else going there over to the left. Well, this guy stays on the right. Ooh, and he gets taken out by an arm. Shadows Strat misses his grenade. Get out of my way. Reload. He's trying to push 30 seconds feet. left. Schnook's getting some Feeling valuable back. information on the site being clear. Now on the right flank, you see it's always the one that they're going to be worried about in that flank right up towards that corridor over there is going to be one of the hardest points they're ever going to face. Especially on the map of Sand, there's a lot of places that just go wrong. Ten we saw last left. week when the fire decided that, hey, let's not do this. Last player standing. Round one four. Roger and Tazi Leap on this map corners are your enemy. Hey, Matt, like, you could really say your corners are your enemies. I kind of like defeating the spike. Oh. Going around round six, zero to five. Alder needs to figure Stay out something. Stay taut as a bowstring. The fight demands it. That killer has never before. Otherwise, it's not looking good for there. Alder. There. I mean, they do have a couple diamonds and a few plats, and maybe, what did say, one gold? I would say so. Not one. If the gold right is here. their bare minimum, then I guess that uh, we surely do need to have a miracle. Oh, uh, Schnook's using one of my favorite Sova darts to get some information on B. I tell you, using the Vandal on here may be their best choice, but I'm not too sure. A Monkey surely is going to get a flash. And... Cover going out. He's trying to push him to be shadows traveling. I think maybe splitting up their forces, going two and two, and then one in reserve could be a really good option. Spike down B. Worthington Kilboard finished best in our league last standing. season, so coming here from a team who's barely played in the last split, this week one was the best team in our. In our conference and our first exactly. week There's really is fun to challenge on our options. players. They make mistakes. Coming in here, I think we're going to see There's a bit more of a left and right fight. flank maneuver. One guy keeping to the left and the other going oh, to right. On. It looks like Schnucks is there. bringing another person. Next, it seems like Alder is leaving the spike behind. Curious to see what benefit this is going to bring them. Maybe without the spike, they have a better chance of maneuverability. Not having to worry about it's one possible, player. It's possible, but once you get down to one player, oh, it looks like Schnucks is going. I down. have the spike. Schnucks is only the, the only person on the left, it seems. Spike drop. Spike. Well, this isn't really looking too good for us. I think we may go a 0-13. If we can at least get one round win, that would be pretty nice to us. I, I do believe that I think in uh, round, or in the second half, Alder can get one or two wins. Right now, I think the, what they're going to need to do is play these games with just their ability and have a team to see what they can do about getting better at it. I think Jeffrey is looking over... Enemy mark. Their uh, plays, game by game, round by round, could definitely help them improve. Looking at the mistakes they made with what teams. Uh, Spike down. down A. A. You monkey looking for a save. I mean, E Monkey with the operator. I mean, you really got to think what can he really do with this? Ten seconds left. Just a kill on Silva. Apparently, it's. I think E Monkey can actually do a lot with a with a weapon that fires one bullet at a time. Oh, I guess they're using numbers to their advantage. Taken from the Check. one to three Charges. and the one Check. to four. Breaks. 
they sacrifice one of their guys so that the rest can go ahead and lay down the spike and defeat. Well, prevent us from putting them. My ultimate is ready. Need a drop. Thank you. Claw through them. I tell you what, if I saw these guys doing an all-pistol round and they got a win, I would be highly impressed. Coming from a 0 to 7 and then a pistol round only, that would be phenomenal with these guys. Now, I don't want to jinx it too early, but it seems that we're actually doing better this round than we did in the previous rounds. Maybe they got together for about 5 seconds and decided a new strat. Alder has all of their ults, but they might try to save us for the next round as they are already up 5 to 3. Yeah, this map is definitely different than the other maps in this game. This one being more of a urban-esque type map. With lots of nooks and crannies Cutting to hide. Alder pushes into B. He is completely clear for the plan. Let's go come here with stat. I mean, really doing well this, this week. Last week he was absolutely phenomenal. That's why, personally, this man has the stat stress. One enemy remaining. I think we may actually have a chance on this one. Beautiful headshot from stat. Giving all their first win of the game. Those stat strats really came in clutch on that one. Absolutely terrible KDs, but I mean the last round really stuck it to them. Even with that win, Alder is still down quite a bit of money. Reloading. Now let's not put all of our jack in one pot. Here. Let's go ahead and see if we, they can do it. We win. We survive. Something different. Because if they put all their jack in the one pot, the they ain't gonna win. Jack in the one pot. Jack in the one pot. Stealing sight. Death grounded. Gun here. Oh. Prepare for hellfire. Oh, forced off A. Maybe moving towards mid or possibly B Out of could charges. allow us to get the flank on Out of charge. But standing ahead. It seems that if we could take half of our forces and make them go towards mid and two of us go towards to the right. Hopefully, we could probably see some results. I here. have the spike cover going out. So that's going back for the spike. Stat catching another kill on Reyna. And it seems to the unlikely tactic may be to split up left. your forces. For the plants on. Hey, flight planted. Reload. Take flight. Sucks going for the fireball. Nobu last week was still with her ult. Nobu last week was absolutely phenomenal with his sniper rifle. I mean, if you saw it, he got at Some least a three kill streak in one game. Though he, they may not be doing as great as they were last week, they surely do have the will to push through, even though they are facing a team that they know is 100% better than them. One enemy remaining. He's taken out in the blast. Poor Nobu. Let's make a play, then execute. Can I get a drop? I'll tell you, in the last week, they surely have had a couple memes together to make sure that they don't screw up, but I mean... Can I get a drop? Thanks. If they knew that they were facing a team that was this good, they probably would prepare it a bit more, but I'm not too sure coming in as we're a new team, and these are teams that have already established themselves as being number one. Run. Run. 
I'm sure that it definitely put some stress on our players. But the 2 to 7, I think we may be making a big comeback here. It all depends on how well we're able to put our forces into effect. David only moving towards B with E Monkey may be a good strat. Get out of my way! E Monkey hoping to catch one of Worthington Kilborn's players on the rotate. All are making relatively no noise. Opting to just hold out in A lobby. I have the spike. Scanning ahead. She looks looking for some info. Definitely a player in mid. Whoa there. If we go back to uh, Eve Monkey, I'm sure we'll be able to find someone who's. His... When we went over towards. Oh! The monkey found Sova. Thirty seconds left. We're facing some opposition from Killjoy as well. Flashbang! Right here. Satchel out. Where did the one definitely got the team together dead between the last minute? Ten seconds left. Spike down mid. Last player standing. It's lost. The tech we were able to get wins two in a row was absolutely phenomenal coming from the down shoot that we came off of. I'll find them. Dropping the spike as usual. Revealing area. Silva so trying to get some information off of B. There they are. I think they might have got some good information on B. Team one player on B. Normally as a gamer, I'm not a big fan of camping, but I think in this game, camping may be their best bet. Enemy spotted me. With no chance to serve all that being revealed by that recon guard. Spike planted. Spike down A. Planted A. You should run. Definitely getting a little bright in here, I'll, I'll say that. Cover going out. Last player standing. To deny. Definitely something that they should be aware of. Last round before the switch. Last round before rotate. That doesn't seem that bad. I mean, it could be on the other side. Gun here. Need a drop. Definitely the best of the best, B. and we still forget the spike. Definitely not, nothing I've seen before. I was opting to not push B or B. Keeping where they are, I think they're the right traffic. here, but that doesn't mean that Worthington could come around and get them from behind. Which is one of their main concerns. Away. They should always have someone to get their six. Well, I'm not sure what Worthington can tell them. They're more of an up type. Not pushing the kill. I mean, we seem to get the spike down pretty fast. Oh, oh, that's that's not, no chance. Oh, 
Now these guys really do do something else than what we've been seeing in the past. Now that we're facing off against a better uh, opponent. Well, oh, I'm sorry, not opponent. opponent. I'm still in my computer mind. Opponent. We definitely have to change the chest in the last week in order to hang on and we're struggling to keep alive. Yeah, it feels look like a pretty good kill one world. You can use that spike. Badly for a loss. Switching sides. Final score of the first half, two to ten. They can't to get to comprehend it. Now I will definitely say, if this were real life, I'd be sleeping on the couch if I were a player. Looks like we have a pretty even three to two stack on A and B. Just trying to feel out the situation and Worthington Kilborn's strategy on attack. Worthington Kilborn's strategy on attack sure does seem to more be more of a head-on attack. While sometimes taking in on the flanks, it doesn't seem that they're always going to yeah. stick with just one strategy. So determining which one they're going to use is Sending definitely going to be a big one on uh, JA's part. So we can dark looking like B is clear. Almost definitely. I think that we're going to go with the mid or open down the jet. One of the biggest problems Alder has been having is their pistol rounds. Oh, most definitely. Jonathan and Alder, during their practices Tuesday, had a very planted. hard time with their pistol Die. rounds. Beautiful. I mean, I'm not too sure about league rules, but I, if I'm correct, the uh, pistol with automatic fire is outlawed during the pistol rounds. Enemy spotted A. Now, if people decided to go with that gun instead, maybe they'd have more of a better chance. But right now, keep it on the left. So, oh, standing. Lord, Lord. Lindsay would definitely be a different tactic. Accuracy wise, it's not the best. But it does get more rounds down range per second than, say, your classic. This is true. Definitely does seem here that we're gonna have to take a little break here after the 13th round and definitely come up with new strategies and try to figure out what they're doing and try to guess on which ones that they're going with. Revealing area. Imagine what's going through these players' minds right now. A thousand miles per second is what I like to say. Take flight. Two silver drones Enemy. looking for some data. Uh, on site, Jack catches the kill on Sova. Really taking a little bit of position. Seems here that the players are going to have to reconvene and determine that they should probably alternate between A and B and sometimes mid. That seems to be worth the kill board strategy. They'll put all their forces towards one objective. Enemy spotted B. Player standing. No, it seems here that the marshal is really not their. Well, let's just say Max it's a point. Bass weapon they should be choosing right now. That's a joke. While they're looking at a match point, just trying to see how many wins they can catch before, unfortunately, they're likely inevitable demise. What would be a good strategy for coming in with the second round would definitely be coming in with an Odin. I don't think that Alder has enough money for Odins. Saving up money for an Odin would definitely be one of the best strats to give it to one of their best players. Would definitely. I'm not too sure we could ever be able to get a wall bang with this. Silver just wall banged on B by the enemy. Now, according to my previous knowledge, I had no idea that you could wall bang this game. Kilborn has shown an impressive knowledge of all superiors and new wall bang. See, they really do take heart in studying these maps. Something that J.A. should really take up on the show. Studying each map. 
protection. Knowing it like the back of their hand, knowing each weapon like the back of their hand, knowing each path they can take. Now it seems here that we're going to be taking a break in about maybe Last player standing. after the demise of our team. Sadly, ooh, Stat catching another kill and unfortunately Attackers going win. out enough to secure the win. Bye. First game to Worthington Killboard. It's not that bad of a game. I'll say that. Coming off with two wins against 13, against people who have diamonds, plats, and golds, definitely seems like a feat if I've ever seen one. Getting any wins in this game is impressive. This was the best team in the region last year. And as Alder being a new, brand new team, with knowing nothing about the league or who they were playing, it is impressive that they were able to catch two. It was definitely a feat, but sadly for this way, we're going to have to add the word D in front of the feat. Alright, I think we're going to take a short break here. Definitely have the team reconvene and go through what they could do. We'll definitely have to uh, come in here on the second part of the coach positions and then do what we need to do. Alright folks, we'll be taking a short break and during an intermission. While these teams reconvene, going for a break, I know definitely that their uh, Aldonathar's coach just definitely went to a death sprint to the bathroom. So again, his bladder, just like our team, is getting defeated, sadly. Welcome back, folks. I'm so sorry for the interruption and the rude awakening, but we are now on split. And it seems the J.A. coach has decided his bladder is done defeating him. J.A. Yeah. coach taking the W on his problems. All strange. Very strange, but I mean, hey, whatever floats his boat. I'm surprised more players didn't go during the year mission. Alright. I'm like a bit of an agent changeup. Raise, Jet, Sage, Viper, and Sky, Brawler. Now, there are definitely things that we can and cannot say on the air. And I'm going to tell you now that we're going to stay away from the things that we can't say on the on the air. But if, we, but if we can take a loophole within that rule, we'll definitely take it every chance we get. You will take it. I will take you it will at least. Take. I will at least take the chance. Of course, staying away from the things that will definitely get our, our program taken off the air. And uh, we'd probably lose our jobs here. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> I know definitely we had a guest on here last uh, week that definitely decided to decision. say something about oh, recent geopolitical events. We had to shut that That's down pretty fast. Alright, we have Alder looking at first half of attack. Just trying to feel out where he's killborn on this new map. 
Definitely since we changed maps, their strats are going to be changing 100%, unless they decide to stick with their same old tactics. At that point, I think the JA team will be able to figure out their tactics, because they seem to be alternating between A and B, and sometimes pushing mid and splitting their forces in between them. Last minute negotiations. As time is paused for the time being. I think maybe they should stop negotiating strats and start negotiating some wins. Yet again, against such a good team, I think uh, it'd be pretty hard to do. Seems as if, for the moment, we have a timeout from Worthington Kilborn as they are situating themselves to start round two. Hmm. It seems here definitely on note from here in production. Now we may want to get more of a temporary office until we get. A, well, I mean this this hallway here does work as Watching a temporary here. office, so we get a more permanent one. Definitely a booth or something. Yes. Watching here. It seems here Watching that we here. have a very nice drawing of what seems to be a beaver. Watching here. Watching yeah. here. Maybe. Watching no, it doesn't look like a capybara because it has a tail, and capybaras don't have tails. Here. Looks like all they're just nesting Watching around here. for the time being. Watching hey, here. Hey, we seem to. Watching here. Is that tactical sloth? Watching here. Watching this spot. Tactical sloths, everybody. Here. Here. Watching here. Watching this location. Watching here. Watching this location. Watching this location. Watching, Watching here. here. Tactical floss and tactical tactical beaver. Watching here. Tactical beaver. What definitely be funny is if we uh. Yeah, Alder needs a mascot. Harold needs a mascot. How about tactical, tactical beaver. beaver? How about we just get one of our friends, Ra, uh, unnamed, who has a uh, gas station chain Bucky's onesie, and give him a tack vest. Tactical bucks. We should. That would totally make Actually, sense. you know what? We're not even asking our coach. Tactical Beaver. Tactical Beaver. Tactical Beaver. We're going to get him, get him a tack vest. And he's going to be our new mascot. Tactical Beaver. Fantastic. Fantastic. Kilborn's still figuring something out. I'm still told 19 seconds of the life phase. I think uh, one of their players may have had the same issues one of our, our coach had. Definitely moving in between the classic and the ghost for, with their secondaries. At this point, we're just wasting time to waste time and throwing a classic over the barrier. Can someone get this. Because just as a nod to Can say, no, time? we don't want your gun. Can someone get this? You puny little yeah. shooty shoot. Reloading. Time has been on pause. We're starting round one, game two. Alder looking on a bit more on cautious side on this one. Uh, well, wait. maybe the cautious, maybe got one of our guys killed. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken, there is no friendly fire on this game. If so, we would be looking at a much different game. Yeah. Totally. We don't want any of our uh, people committing hat filming. Last player standing. A lot, a lot of utility being tossed around by Worthington Kilborn. Definitely Worthington Kilborn coming in with the early lead again. Sadly, I think E Monkey may be out of luck. Comes to this. E Monkey is already dead. That's a sad day for all of us. R.I.P. E Monkey. You will be forever rest in bananas. Rest in banana. Switching up the tactic. Just to go A, try to get the feel of 
Um, defensive Worthington Kill Boy can be on site. I already seem that they also may know this map more than what we do. I think more than what should be known. I mean, stat already oh, with the yeah. early kill doesn't seem that bad. Bit of an early firefight in mid. Okay. Uh, e with the spike, just going to catch which site the should be to. Speaking of mid, I think our, our plane today does seem to be a little bit mid. Spike down, mid. Down with. I have to heal his team a bit before hopefully catching a moment to push on to B. Alder is up three to two. Uh camping. Just what we need. That may sound sarcastic, but it's really not. It is really what we need here. A camping person with a uh, sniper rifle definitely could do us a big favor here in the long run. 30 seconds left. These three characters, there's little they can do to find the information on who is on site and who is not. Corners definitely are your enemy without any Pull information cats. beyond the corner. I think I found them. Uh, really rude awakening in here, but I mean, hey, whoever floats their boat. Kill on jet. Satchel out. Here. Last player standing. It's gonna be a one v one between Jet and Neon. Just trying to play for time here. Jet does not catch the kill, leaving Cosmic open for the defuse. Clutch. Seems to that we may not be uh, doing our okay. best here, but we, we can definitely world. try our best. Roles and we'll crush it. Definitely keeping on the third round by phase is going to be their most pivotal moment. I mean, if we could pull off what we did last week, going from a ten, a zero to two to an absolute thirteen to two, would be a miracle. But I don't think that's going to be happening here. At least one win for this entire match would be something that's definitely needed for morale. It seems like the early game here, it's definitely not what we're doing right against this team. Apparently, these boys on the Worthington Kilbert's team definitely know what they're doing. I mean, definitely, as we've mentioned like three times prior, they were the best of the Schnook's getting a clean kill on Jet. Healing over here. Alder definitely has something to work on during practices. Uh, catching some of those early game pistol rounds would definitely be a preparation for rounds two and three. Oh, most definitely. I mean, the more they practice, the better they'll get. I mean, we are a new team to the league this year, in this season. So going off against a team that's already established themselves as good players. Definitely something that really puts a lot of stress Spike on. down, mid. 30 seconds left. One enemy remaining. And another 1v1, and unfortunately, Schnooks does not catch the kill on Cosmic. It seems here that the stat stress aren't really doing so well. I think Stat101 should have his own fan club named Stat Strats. Definitely oh, something to work on at practices every day. I mean, we do weekly practi practices here at the building, but it doesn't stop them from going home and doing their own practices five hours a night and ultimately getting a failing grade. <laughs> but I mean, gotta bounce somehow. It's what makes a good person. Bouncing work and fun. Woo! Alder is up five to four. Playing really cautious in this. Thing. 
I mean, they really have no other option, because if they go on with a head-to-head, -head, they're going to be losing all of their guys within five seconds. I'm surprised that uh, Will Worthy the Kill One hasn't bought a Odin yet. Well, these can be quite useful. Split is usually not the map. Uh, that weapon. Stat. Oops. One enemy remaining. Thirty seconds left. Three v one. Lay down spike. I just really think that we're in a couple of kills. You go full. Rifty win for all of her. We have come back from Definitely worse. beautiful. Well, you know what's even more beautiful than Sky? How do you guys ever just go out, look at Sky, and be like, you know what? Absolutely. Great day. Great day to play. It's absolutely a great day to be a JA. Yes, indeed. Stat alone, pushing A, trying to catch a quick rotate kill, or joining up with the others mid. Going to be denied that opportunity to catch a rotate, Omen Smith. Yeah. Almost definitely. Uh. Ooh, monkey, uh. for that ever-present sage push on mid. Ended. The monkey anticipating that push, cleanly taking out Sage. Or is an orb admitting? Oh, there's down. Or. I have the spike. Spike's been retrieved. I mean, they could off. really go ahead and work their guys together to push towards one of the objectives and lay down Spike. Just all depends on how Wilmington. We're in the cupboard. Again, why do I keep saying Wilmington? We're not even facing Wilmington. I'm not even sure Wilmington's in the lead. Enemy spotted meat. I highly doubt. Hi! I'm pissed! Sorry, Worthington, for just working on your name, but hey, you shout out at least one Reloading. Schnooks able to take down Neon Ult. Seek the cats! He found one! This is my ult. Pull cats! Use the animation as the location of the remaining two Worthington. 30 seconds one. left. Players. Player standing. Reach taking out Schnooks. One enemy remaining. The monkey is safe to play in his alt. Revenge is gotta get that spike down. Ten seconds left. That is William and Kilborn's last chance, but she's gonna have to fight through this snake pit. The safety monkey really has this place covered. Not allowing Worthy to get ah at all. Pushing now with the side. Beautiful kill you from Amaran. Yeah. <laughs> Revealing Dead names though, are we? <laughs> we are Valorant. Can I get a drop? It'll we are fighters. Can I get a drop? Alder well, looking to make a comeback here. Two to three. Help a girl out, would ya? Help, cheers, mate. Definitely gonna be another crucial round for these guys. If they can get another win, they successfully tie up the game. Giving us a great chance at making it even, if not even overtaking them, and making a one-to-one -one overall for week one. Looks like Sage is not going to be pushing her wall in mid today. E Monkey still patiently waiting for that. Now, if I'm not mistaken, according to league rules, if we go into a tie, does that count as a tie or do we go into overtime? There will be an overtime. Yes. League rules take over time. We'll go into overtime. I do believe a tie is not very likely. Yeah, I actually don't think a tie would even be possible. I mean, it has to be possible in some sort of manner, but it's 
Dude. Most of all, they're flashed here. <laughs> Thirty seconds left. Now, since we keep playing this way, a lot of our guys are going to be in heaven. Enemy spotted B. One down. Uh, spike carrier is down. Spike down B. Spike. Definitely, we the spike. Could be one of their better options. Go ahead and go ahead. Looks like they're looking for the rotate. I highly doubt they'll find ten it. Ten seconds left. Ten seconds. Looks is unfortunately not going to have enough time to plant. Sadly, for uh, actually, actually. Just in time. Yeah, the plan, but unfortunately, Neon ready on A to take out. That was an Nux. absolute perfect timing. Bad play. Unfortunately, maybe he's also taken out, allowing Neon to have a clean defuse on the spike. That was absolutely perfect timing. Got the millisecond, but hey, we lost the round, so it's kind of a win-loss kind of deal. I got your backs. Just, you know. From the front. Definitely, YouTube is gonna have to. I mean, Schnucks is gonna have to try to do his best today. I've seen him maybe get one kill if even. Go ahead and check the stats. YouTube actually has four. Maybe I'm just blind. Anyone have funds to spare? Haven't I seen got much you, okay? gameplay from Schnucks. No, I think Schnucks is trying to play. Get out of my way! Definitely tearing down some of these pre-made defenses is going to try and do their best job. I mean, aiming in and going around a corner. Yeah, and corners are going to be the enemy of the people here. Operator has taken out. Jeff. I got the spike. I don't want to jinx it too early, but I think we may actually have a chance. Time to hunt. Scout destroyed. Spike down mid. Trying to catch a kill on Jet, but unfortunately taken out by Sky. Most definitely, I mean, Poison's that off. last fight there was definitely something that definitely had a chance. But I don't think that they're going to have to fight for heaven because I think a lot of these guys are going to be getting it for free. 30 seconds left. Try and look for a kill. E Monkey definitely must. Oh. Reddington Killborn just came to the spike. That's when they kill him. If E Monkey definitely would have gotten everyone there, I would have been definitely impressed with him. Definitely. Definitely, I would have went and bought him dinner, even though he's your brother. Oh yeah, I forgot. Wait a second. Ah, totally. Yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, 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 I'm supposed to stay alive. Uh, uh. There. Uh, who'd you think about that? Pretty much. Alright. Looking at a full push on A. Something all there is yet to do this round. B, this game has been really contested. A really doesn't get any play. Last player standing. I'm sad for A. Right. It is definitely the harder site to push in this map. You're up. Stay safe. We're going back in. We're going back in. Opportunity to push in B from two sides instead of just the single side. Well, it's definitely, uh, these guys are going to have to try something else this round. Keep in mind that these boys work their tails off. Teamwork is definitely going to be the number one, uh, killer here. Like I said, it was originally uh, 
corners, but I think the real thing is going to be teamwork, figuring out what to do, when to do it. Tie-dye! Killing Nobu with a headshot, however, he monkey with the judge, killing Dabid. Stat with the, uh, Marshal. Schnucks picks up the spike. Red List takes back Nobu! Tie-Dai killing Liz and Nobu at the same time. Bringing from this all it's even, I'm so sorry. Now it makes one it enemy eight. remaining. Two to one. You see that it moves fast. Standing. One to one. Spike down B. Can he monkey do it? We'll find out. It seems just sitting camp and healing so ooh. Going up. Oh, he needs to cut his opposition. Boys and, orb emitting. and sadly, he's down. Remember, nobody's a hero when they're crying for air. True that, during this 10th uh, buy phase, it's definitely going to be one of the more crucial parts where we either had to get our stuff together and get it get done. Or leave. Find the weak point and break it. Well, this here seems to haven't really been doing much. Holy moly. Yeah, it's a zero point oh book. So that definitely encounters some opposition already with one kill already. Reloading. You will not kill my ally. They're taking back their players. Reloading. Definitely a good game between these two teams. Absolutely phenomenal what they're doing, but I'm not too sure that we'll be able to pull this off. But I mean, hey, a you know, four to three doesn't seem that bad. Whoa! Moving across the map at such a high speed. Definitely entrapping these guys. Definitely be something. No one willing to push. Off your feet! Debit takes on stat. One enemy remaining. And we win. Absolutely phenomenal on that. Another fight? Clean slate. Let's leave whatever happens in the past. Anyone have fun with <laughs> Thank you. I'm definitely on to someone with Will and Worthen to go with. I'm willing to peek again, I think he's going to try and whip them out. Seek them out. Found one. Scout destroyed. Definitely a big fire fight coming on here, folks. Going with the five to five. Uh. 
Can't wait to take no, the room. Schnuck takes the spike. 30 seconds Never left. a big firefight leaving three dead. He might get takes out comic. Absolutely phenomenal. Can he pull clutch up the rest? Enemy spotted. Red is definitely going to be pushed here in about 5 seconds. Bridge killed. Another loss. We didn't get him in time, folks. Last round in the half. We cannot keep our goods after this. Spend all. No boo on the early game. Him with his marshal. Stand facing opposition. Definitely nobody's gonna have to come and clutch here today. Schnucks on the front lines. Another loss. Switching sides on here. Switching yes. sides. We will bury them under their transgressions. Definitely going to be a tough match here, folks. Watching here. Watching here. Watching here. Watching here. Red Lotus actually taking a kill on here versus Tie Dye. Absolutely phenomenal what she's able to do under pressure. Schnucks being down brings such a direct lead team. Oh. Frenzy taking out E Monkey. Last player standing. Oh my. What can I say? Couple more rounds, and then sadly it'll be declared a loss. However, but I think we can we get back on track. I think we could get at least one to two more wins if we put our minds to it. But do I think that they're gonna put their minds to it? Not exactly, not yet. But it's too late in the game. But I think they, if they have the willpower, they definitely can do anything they put their dreams up to. Put your mind somehow, you can do it. Let that be a lesson to you all, folks. Keep up. Kill on Spike planted. Last player standing. Flawless. Uh, 
down within seconds. Seconds of each other. That was absolutely I hate to say it, but detrimental play. Best to play as a team. Absolute. So, uh, what's the plan? I'm the court of Sonic. Like a fellow once said, ain't that a kick in the head? Well, there's funds not looking too good on this map. I'll tell you what, this team's definitely not getting ice cream after the game today. up a player right now. Can use this to their advantage? Probably, and I really do think they can if they put their minds in. I think we can go through the smoke for stat. Absolutely beautiful, I mean. I couldn't wish for anything else. The action time on that judge shot was Satchel out. Satchel out. Spike planted. Dodging that blind. Catching One kill. enemy remaining. Reloading. also catching a kill. Looking to see if they can defuse the spike. They run out of time. Yeah, definitely uh, facing off standing. against a better team really puts stress on you and definitely just late in the game. Stack catches the kill. Like you could stop me. I think Enemy. we may be making a comeback here. Does have enough time to finish winning around for Alder. I know Absolutely one what of the must be done. Better teams in the conference, but I'm pretty sure that if we put our minds to it. Alright, actually. I hate to be the one to think negatively, but I actually don't think we're going to be able to win this. I think we may just have to cut our losses at this point. Alder might have a chance here. Bye. He does come back this round. This is the make or break moment for Alder. If we're able to get a good streak of wins, I would be absolutely ecstatic. Enemy oh, oh. Spike planted. Another headshot cosmic. Stat definitely back with the strats, I'll tell you what. Is down. Satchel out. He's tied up, unfortunately. Red lettuce. Satchel out. He's got it. Healing. I will not die. Start Last player standing. <laughs> One uh, enemy remaining. Holder has one Match last point. shot. No one will remember that. One last shot, and I really, I really do think that we actually have the chance to at least get one more win. Are we going to be able to win this entire game? Probably not. But hey, one more game, one more match. Definitely something that I could see happening. Do it. Let's go. Do it. Get out of my way. Do it. Bye. Do, it Do it now. Spike planted. Worthington Killboard is sitting comfortable in this round, knowing that even if they lose, they have last player standing. Another eight. And unfortunately, that is the defeat for Attackers win. Even the second game. Zero to two. Four to thirteen. Our all score is zero to two. Great showing, however, by Alder. Uh, Absolutely definitely played really hard. Absolutely, and if I may make another Star Wars reference, our team is deader than Luke's parents.
Same could also be said for Batman, but I don't think we want to mess with him if you saw what he did to Heath Ledger. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for tuning in. Again, today's date has been March the 10th, 2022. Week 1 against Worthington Kilburn and Jonathan Arnold High School. Thank you all for tuning in. I hope you all have a great day and a great week. See you all.